I'm Peggy Brickman. I'm a professor of plant biology at the University of Georgia. I teach introductory biology for general education requirements. I would say most of the students are on some form of financial aid. Well, last year in all, I spent around $700. For each class, my um, textbooks range from like $60 to $100. Right now, I have three students who are have been dropped from all their classes because their financial aid checks didn't come in. So there's a lot of, uh, I think, financial issues that people are really struggling with. I heard about the OpenStax book because I was um, developing an online course for the first time, and I wanted to make sure everything was accessible um, and hopefully free online because they were paying extra for taking the course online. Um, and one of the textbook companies had, was partnering with OpenStax, and so they sent me a link and I looked at it. and thought, this is too good to be true in a way. It didn't, I, I couldn't quite figure it out when I first did it, you know, whether I was supposed to pay or the students were going to have to pay. Or, um, so I emailed the company, um, and they sent me the nicest email back and set me up everything and uh, have been great responding ever since. I like it. It's convenient. You don't have to like lug around a book all the time whenever you want to study, and it's all on your computer. So like looking up the pages, it's as easy as typing in a number. Because I have so many students, I have students with disabilities. So I have deaf students and blind students and um, students who uh, really need to have the material accessible in lots of different formats. I like it just because like, I like to type my notes a lot. And so it makes it easier to type to me because it's just swapping from one tab to the other. With OpenStax, I can put links up to several different places. So it's really much more seamless. I definitely could say that I learn better with this book just because it's easier to comprehend. It's made us be able to do a lot more um, interactive kind of um, online activities. And those are very different from tests. I think it's been great because um, for a general education course, you want students to be able to be writing about science and communicating their understanding rather than just taking tests. I haven't seen any decline. In, in anything, so it hasn't hurt one bit. Um, so I think that that sort of speaks for itself. I was really excited for having a free book because I really was trying to like eliminate my costs. Like if I can avoid paying for a book, that's what I try to do. Because we have so much to pay for, like rent, food. So if you can lessen the load by making a book free, that helps. I know as a parent, you know how much it, it costs, and I know that the students that I have are strapped for cash. So it's really nice that it is completely free and available to them. And they can access it as many times as they want, wherever they want. We have great students here. They're trying really hard, and they want to learn. And so I just think it's a great opportunity for them. I would just say, go and try it out. I mean, I see people all the time in the parking lot. And you know, I, I say, have you looked at it? Do you just kind of see it? And they're like, I didn't donate any money. You know, is it OK if I consent? I'm like, yeah, you just can look at it. They're like, but really? Is it, is it really free? So I would say just go check it out. Um, I would also say when you look at it, look at it and look at it compared to any other textbook. You're going to find things that you like and you're going to find things that are missing. But it's going to be the same for any textbook that you look at. And so um, take a peek at it from your student's perspective rather than necessarily from yours um, and see if it will work for you.